Okay, hi. I have an absolutely unbelievable, unhealthy obsession with this manhunt and with Cam and Briar. So I really feel like I need to talk about it. So if you do not give a shit, just go ahead and skip through these stories because holy fuck. So obviously if you don't know, there are two teens, one's 18, one's 19, that are part of a Canada-wide manhunt right now because they are suspects in a double homicide and also are charged with killing a 64 year old man that wasn't identified at first but then they later found out who he was and he was found by their burnt out truck and trailer if you want to know more probably just read about it because i'm not going to go super insane into details just on my theories the reason that I was like so insanely obsessed with this is the RCMP release that they were spotted in Saskatchewan and they were just saying northern Saskatchewan. So I was like flipping out being like are they in Saskatoon? Am I going to fucking see them? What a dream come true that would be. Just kidding in case they are really fucking as dangerous as people say. But imagine if I assisted in solving a murder that would be a dream come true. Anyways, so it actually turned out that they were spotted at the co-op in Middle Meadow Lake. So they weren't anywhere near me probably, but I was still fucking side-eyeing side -eyeing every gray round four that I saw all day because I'm on the road 24-7 and I was like, is that you? But anyways, so since this all started going down, oh, why am I blurry? Since this started going down, then, like, the dad of Briar, like, came out saying that he was, like, a fucking absent parent, and he didn't see him from when he was, like, 8 to 16, and he never really was loved or nourished like a child should be, and he was raised by video games and YouTube, etc., etc., saying that these two are going to go down in a blaze of glory, and then all of a sudden... He's like talking about how he readily has a book that he wants to publish. So I don't know if he's just like looking for his 15 fucking minutes of fame or what the hell is going on here. But obviously there's a lot more to the story that we don't know about his family and everything that's going on. But um, his mom also released a handwritten note saying like, please come home, blah, 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 blah. She couldn't fucking spell first of all. So I don't know, this kid probably did not have a really great upbringing. Also, this Briar kid was like super into video games. I don't know which ones. Probably World of Warcraft. And <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know shit. But he had friends online that he like talked to, blah, 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 blah. Classmates that were also terrified of him always being like, what if this is real? What if I was really killing somebody? All these like fucking signs that probably point to this kid needing some fucking help but um, his friend from the gaming community like released these photos that Briar had apparently sent him um, of like some Nazi shit and some like knife carved with German sayings and like all this stuff and like him in army gear holding a gun etc meanwhile cam's parents are like over here fucking saying i can't even make a statement because i can't speak a single sentence without bawling so he was only able to do like a written statement because he's grieving like whatever the fuck is going on here with his son and like which is probably a normal reaction i would assume but I guess if Briar's dad really is as mentally ill as everyone is saying that he is, then maybe his reaction of being like, publish my fucking book and how he is handling the stress makes him come off a little worse than he actually is, maybe? Anyways, so they're spotted at the co-op and then they were stuck in some mud in cold lake alberta i guess and somebody unknowingly 
helped them out and like tugged them out of the fucking mud and they carried on with their journey and then they were actually pulled over by someone in Manitoba an officer in Manitoba who didn't know that they were murder suspects because it wasn't released yet and everyone thought that they were just missing and he let them go and because they blew through a checkpoint but anyways they let him go and he remembers or after the images of them were released he was like oh those are the kids that I pulled over they were super nervous and they had a bunch of camping gear and then the next confirmed sighting of them was in Gala, Alberta which has like a population of 1700 ew why do I keep on going blurry the next confirmed sighting was in Gala, Alberta and apparently there's a lot of thick bush a lot of bugs um, swamp blah 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 blah. the population is like 1700 people so the RCMP rolled in and fucking put that shit on lockdown and started searching they couldn't fucking find these kids at all so then the RCMP and like fucking drones and fucking all this shit all the resources were in Gillum being like yo we gotta find these bad boys all of a freaking sudden, there's, ew, there's a, a sighting of these two fucking tall bitches scavenging for food in the dump at York Landing in Manitoba also, which is 90 kilometers west, I think, of Gillum. Anyways, the only way that you can get into York Landing is through train, or not train, ferry or plane. So first of all, I want to know how the fuck they got in there, if that was actually them being fucking raccoon boys. So then the RCMP roll up to that town and put that shit on lockdown, and they tell everyone to lock their windows and doors and all this fucking shit, and they start going door to door trying to find these kids. No fucking luck. Then it comes out that that sighting isn't actually confirmed, so maybe it wasn't them being raccoon boys, and maybe they're still fucking in the bush in Gillum. So now they're back to basically square one, and they decide that they're going to go back to Gillum to see if they can find these kids again. And so I have four theories of what I think could have happened, but I also want to know yours because obviously I'm obsessed and I want to talk about this. Theory number one, I think that someone could have unknown, unknowingly helped them out of Gillum, not knowing who they were, not paying attention to the news, maybe even being a trucker from the States or somewhere else and being like, yo boys, hop in. And then now who the fuck knows where they are? They could be fucking anywhere. <sighs> it stresses me out because what if they're back here? What if there's someone else? What if someone gets hurt? Also, wouldn't these fucking kids stick out like sore thumbs if they're like scrawny ass six four boys? <clears throat> like, I don't know, maybe they're in hiding. But like as a six foot three woman myself, I cannot fit in confined spaces. So where the hell are these bitches hiding? Number two, what if they met someone that was like-minded in their video games? And these people, persons, whatever, are assisting them in hiding or getting them out of town or whatever. Like maybe there's some fucking fellow neo-Nazis that are like, yo, come to Gillum. I'll sneak you out of my floorboards. Just kidding though, because they're 6'4", so how the fuck would they get out? How would they even hide in a trunk? No cramped that would be. I don't know. Just a possibility. Or maybe they have like a fucking bomb shelter. Who knows? what they're doing up there but if they're still in Gillum or if they're not some I don't know okay my third theory is that what if they are actually camping in the bush before no in between the sighting of Gillum and York Landing the RAV4 was found oh my god a RAV4 just drove by the RAV4 was found out found burning but if that cop saw that RAV4 with camping gear in it and let them go, I'm wondering, did they take the camping gear and use the RAV4 as a distraction? Or did they burn the camping gear with it? Because 
that hasn't been released. But if they're using drones and planes and RCMP and like everything to try to find these fucking teens, then I want to know, like that bush is thick. There was like some interview with some fucking like survivalist dude and there's like 20,000 bugs flying all over the screen and they're like, yo, they won't survive out here. They're not outdoors, man, blah, 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 blah. But like, honestly, like they would need fire and food and like all kinds of things. So if they're camping, they're super fucking stealth. Yeah, I don't know. Like, they're saying that the RCMP can't even go that far into the bush because it's so treacherous. And lastly, number four is that wildlife or pe polar bear that they had reported seeing while they were searching chomp these bitches up and that's like my least favorite theory because if that actually happened how are we ever going to get answers about like what the fuck was going on and if like maybe briar just like fucking went insane and like shot some bitches oh my god a semi please don't talk to me oh, you put on his four ways i hope i'm not in his way okay thank god he's not talking to me um I wonder like if like they were supposedly going to like look for work because Briar was like peace out Walmart and then they wanted to go and find somewhere else to work so they were like leaving BC but like what if Briar just like went rogue and was like hey bitches I'm gonna shoot these teens this teen couple from Australia and America and an old man and then Cam was like I'm in some fucking shit here and I don't know what to do and now I'm just gonna fucking follow my lifelong best friend and go on this death journey with him out of loyalty or something I don't know because his parents do seem really surprised but either way what if a fucking bear chomped them and now we'll never know if Cam was just going along with it or what the fuck is going on with this entire situation. Anyways, I just realized that there's a fucking teen mowing the lawn beside me and he's probably wondering why I'm holding up a camera recording myself for a hundred years. Hey yo. Anyways, like fuck. I want to know your theories. I want to know what you think. I want to know if I'm insane because I'm insistently refreshing Google and I want to know all the information and I want them to be caught ASAP. So talk to me about it because that's all I care about right now. Okay, thanks.